Hey guys, what's up? I'm Ryan Finners. Welcome back to the Finnertainment channel. On today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys steps that I took on cleaning the toolbox that was on my truck. This toolbox is about 15 years old and every three or four years, I like to remove it from the truck, take all the contents from inside the toolbox away from it so I can handle it easier and give it a good cleaning. So when I first get started, I like to use a Purple Power Aluminum Brightener. Now I've also used Aluminolite. This right here just removes oil and grease from the top of the surface and just gives it a good cleaning. Now once I spray this right here onto the toolbox, I usually leave it on there for about 10 or 15 minutes and then I just wash it away with a hose. Either I let it air dry or I try to wipe it dry with a towel. Now this right here is my polisher sander and uh, I've used it from cleaning headlights to buffing golf cart uh, paint jobs before. But I uh, used this tool here to clean the toolbox and I've done it many a times and you can tell because it gets really dirty over time. It is a variable speed. I usually use it on the highest setting when I'm cleaning the toolbox with the buffer pad. And this buffer pad here, you don't use this portion of it you use the outside rim portion of it. Now, I'll put a link to everything I found or I used in this video in the description below, but I had to buy the buffer pad, I had to buy this adapter kit that went on to the uh, buffer sander, and uh, I had to buy some rouge. This is a rouge bar, uh, it's the yellow bar, and I believe this is like the uh, multi-purpose or the universal application, and it, this right here works great for me. Uh, also, when you're installing the wheels, the wheels only go on one way. It opened up towards one side. So when you put it on, you wanna make sure it's gonna spin away from that side. If not, it's gonna catch the air and it's gonna break off and stuff. So uh, that's the tool I used, how you installed it and everything there. And uh, I usually like to take some Windex, spread over the box, take a clean towel and get off any extra residue from the rouge bar. And as you can see here, you get really dirty. So uh, make sure to wear old clothes, make sure to wear eye protection, and that's it. That's how I clean my toolbox. This may not be the most professional way, and if you're a DIYer like myself, maybe this video will inspire you to go out and clean your toolbox or your wheels or whatever you have to clean this aluminum. All right, guys, again, I'm Ryan Finners. Thanks for watching the Finnertainment channel. If not, please subscribe. Also, check out these other great videos, and we'll see you very soon.